Thank you to Chairman Renville, the Sisseton Wapton Oyate Tribe, the Wapton Sisseton College, and the Housing Authority for hosting this great event. I'm sorry I can't attend in person, but I am so glad to be part of this milestone as you strengthen your coalition and increase Native home ownership in the Great Plains. I'm proud to see the coalition's work moving forward as you seek to improve Native American home ownership and uh, actually overall housing conditions in which your tribal members live. Since the formation of the coalition, you've declared your efforts to increase housing options, availability, and living conditions. I think everyone knows that clean and safe homes are the foundation of a good life. And that's true for everyone, whether you're Native uh, uh, American or whether you're an elder or whether you're someone living um, in Bismarck, North Dakota. And that's why I'm working every day to uphold the federal trust responsibilities and support all of the tribe's local work to improve housing for your, for your people. Earlier this month, I held a conversation with U.S. Housing and Urban Development Secretary uh, Castro, and I pressed him uh, more than once on the need to improve housing conditions across Indian country. As you know, too many Native American families in the Great Plains live in overcrowded, dilapidated, and substandard homes that cannot withstand severe weather conditions. This is quite frankly unacceptable. But there's some good news. I was glad earlier this month when Spirit Lake was awarded $800,000 in home improvements and black mold remediation. This was part of a $6 million program in federal funds that I helped secure last fall when Secretary Castro joined me on the Turtle Mountain Reservation. You know, every family deserves a safe place to call home. And grants like these demonstrate HUD's commitment to partnering with Native American communities and Native American leadership. But you know what? It's not enough. We have to do more. Tribes like many of you represented here should have access to sustained funding to improve housing and access to housing. As a member of the Indian Affairs Committee, I was proud in April when the committee passed the NAHASDA or the Native American Housing Assistance and Self-Determination Act reauthorization, which would reauthorize this critical block grant program through 2020. In addition to extending timeframes on leasing of existing trust land and, those, and supporting housing and rental assistance programs, these, this legislation would help tribes address the housing needs of families by addressing the homelessness and under housing needs. But while we've had some recent su successes, the challenges are great and your work is more important than ever. As budgets are increasingly constrained, the work you do in communities across the Great Plains builds up your, your work and the, the ability of your people to achieve success. Your work creates safety and security for those who may otherwise go without. Please know that you have an ally in the Senate. I have seen the housing in Indian country. I have worked for years to build Indian and Native American home ownership programs. I have seen the challenges, whether it is financing, whether it is actually getting the resources, whether it is just families who are struggling every day to, to make ends meet and then have to come home to substandard conditions that frequently cost them too much in, in energy usage, too much in repairs, and the cycle continues and continues. And know that I have seen it. I know the, the problems that exist, and I won't stop pushing for more federal resources. Thank you again for the invitation to speak. I look forward to seeing the coalition's work expand. Your tribal uh, 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 council has been in and told me about this effort. I was very excited when I heard about it because this is an issue that I've worked on long and hard, even back when I was attorney general in North Dakota. And I think you can be a model for the rest of the country. So your efforts will help not only your community and your elders and future generations in your uh, tribal members, but I think it's going to help across the board in other um, uh, similar situations in Indian country. And so I'm proud to support your work. Keep it up. Let's keep believing we can, in fact, change things if we keep working together.